it's like an awesome feeling when you look back. You've gone through all of this trouble and all of this strife and to come out on the other side and still be a decent human being, <laughs> sometimes I just feel like you're lucky. The people who come around to hang out with us to smoke drugs, we called them our friends. We spent so much time together, you know, we started to know everything about each other. We'd go to the clubs together and they were all right because they'd just come over on the weekend and, um, you know, go home for the rest of the week. But we were there just like constantly. And then some people who used to come over just to buy ecstasy, then they would start smoking with us too. He used to joke about it, like our little kingdom. <laughs> like, we're the, like we're the kings, mate. This is our kingdom. And people come and go. And if these people go, we'll just build up another one. We used to like have battles, competitions. And then like after a game, go to our little table, have a smoke, go back, sit down. Next game, just like zoned out, eh? Yay! Like that, just for like, you know, sometimes we do that for like two or three days. After a while, over time, that feeling that I got from it, um, it I hardly used to get it. it you know, this, I remember staying awake for ages, but not having that initial like buzz. Although, like when I used to sleep for like two days and then wake up, I would get it back. But then I just remember after a while, just always feeling bad. Just like inside my body just didn't feel right and every time I'd smoke it I would be thinking to myself fuck I watched a documentary on TV it was about people who were going through pee or smoking ice as they call it in Australia and there was a pregnant this pregnant lady so they're interviewing her and she's telling them about her her dreams and her aspirations she was pregnant and she said to the camera you know I just want to I want to raise up my baby I want to have you know, have a good family for my baby and provide for her and make sure that she's going to be all right. And so she was saying all of these things, like what she wanted, but, you know, in the background, she was smoking pee, she was smoking drugs. And I just thought, fuck, man, that's, that's a bit like me. Because at that stage, you know, I, I, I wanted to, I did this course and it was about leadership and stuff. So I thought, you know, here I am standing in front of the, the room and doing this course about leadership and you know trying to create a life for myself but behind closed doors in the background I'm smoking up and doing drugs and I just felt like like I was a bullshit artist like I was pulling the wool over people's eyes you know trying to provide an example but what you don't know about me is I'm a drug addict and it just switched it just clicked eh? it was like a switch my whole life has changed and then I look back and see that that past all of that past I've been through and it I'm stronger than that, you know, it hasn't, hasn't still got me, you know, it's like, see you mate, on to the next thing.